take a look at the head to head, 30 to 32. Same height, same reach, weight almost exactly the same. Difference is going to be in attitude and style, not in the numbers. Beatrice, get us going. Andy Perez, Melissa Gomez. Just 106 pounds. Y arrancamos con mucha más acción las reglas de la jaula. Tres vueltas de cinco minutos, tres jueces, utilizando el sistema de 10 puntos. Este duelo en la división peso átomo de Sbaud. In the atom weight division, los jueces son the judges are Richard Green Sr., Doria Mirasola, and Jonathan Lane. Y ahora, damas y caballeros. Llegó el momento de un combate global. En la esquina azul, in the blue corner, wearing blue, vestida de azul. Su peso oficial, 105.4 libras, her official weight, 105.4 pounds, with a record of four victories and five losses, con un record profesional de cuatro victorias y cinco derrotas, de Greensboro, North Carolina. Katy, la máquina asesina, pero... En la esquina roja, the red corner, wearing white, vestida de blanco. Su peso oficial, 106 libras, her official weight, 106 pounds. Tonight, she enters la jaula undefeated as a pro with three victories esta noche. Entra la jaula invicta como profesional con tres victorias. From Santiago de Chile, Melissa Go! El referee, Raúl Porrata. To the center, to the center. Obedezca mis órdenes y protege en todo momento. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Back to your corner. We are ready to go. Katie Perez in the blue from Greensboro, North Carolina, Lisa. taking on Melissa Gomez Lisa. from Santiago, Chile in the red and white. And there's the bell, round number one. Yeah, so right from the start, Perez takes take the lead, but Gomez is a very stick and move, which is the difference between the two. You're seeing it, the switching of the stance right from the start, Jimmy. Very comfortable going from southpaw to orthodox. Back with both eyes, Katie Perez at her best when she brings physical pressure. She has this ability to make the jaula small, right? Not give you a lot of space to work with. When she's had success in the jaula, Katie Perez, that's where it's come from, that physical pressure. Yeah, once that first shot is hit and connects for Katie, I mean, it's just not stop. Nice, powerful leg kick. She's there. And Melissa Gomez feeling out with the jab from both sides. Yeah, and Gomez is very smart, doesn't want to go into pocket with Katie. She so knows that that diversity and that footwork is going to be the difference here, the key. She yeah, just goes up and down in her stance to throw her off. But eventually, uh, Jimmy, she's going to, somebody has to do something here. Strike already. He's been already a minute in it. Oh, there go. oh boy. what were you saying? Okay, Good there right there. heard me. <laughs> right through the center. Goes Melissa Gomez with that big right hand. What I like about Katie, she put that punch in. She said, oh, you got me. It's cool. Don't expect Katie Perez to back off in the face of any power. Gomez, but almost that Chuck Liddell overhand right. People remember that one. You're going way back, G. Yeah, I remember Ego of Chance. Same thing. Overhand You're right. You're going to get people dude. to go on their Britannica. <laughs> Britannica? Don't even get me started, bro. All right. I appreciate the OGs. That's how Melissa Gomez fighting right now. Those kind of unorthodox winging punches, right? But they hit with a lot of power. Tons of power. Good way of uh, repping in those punches, calculating which is going to strike. Great jab though from Katie. Yeah, Katie Perez looks like he's trying to figure out the footwork of Gomez. That's what that's yeah. the difference in it. Yeah, she's very quick on those feet. 
constant. So the, the key is you got to cut it. You got to cut it. Come in. Also, nothing about Gomez, that kind of shoulder feint. She moves her whole upper body to be really deceptive. Don't know exactly where your opponent is at any one time. And if you're wondering, she has a lot of gas in the tank. She's going for three rounds and do that. Not going to gas out. In fact, all her wins have been by decision, only one by split decision. Well, that's still showing a lot of confidence with those right hands. You know, and kudos to Gomez to really perfect that style. I mean, it, it takes a lot. Very difficult. Very yeah. difficult. And it is. Dominic Cruz, right? He had Same that deal. quick, yep. awkward stuff, the one that comes into mind right now. Dominic Cruz, he was so great at it, was the volume attack. You never knew exactly where he was coming from. He would overwhelm you in rounds. And Gomez doing a good job of kind of throwing in power shots. Not just about the numbers, but she's putting she keys behind those right hands. And she uses the range very well. She throws it with overhand. Jiu-Jitsu brown belt going for the takedown. Single leg up against the howler. Good job from Gomez. Stuff in the head. Yeah, so Perez has the advantage right here. Always saying wrestling, where the head goes, the body goes. <laughs> well, where Perez just... Getting that leg, not letting it go anywhere. She is tenacious with this single leg, but she's eating some short shots. Man, she's holding on to that leg like Sunday coupon in the morning. Remember those in the back, back in the day? Oh, now you're talking about me getting old. <laughs> now they got stuff in the net, but it's not the same. Yeah, back to the feet is Melissa Gomez successfully stopping the takedown. They used to cut him on Sunday morning. I remember him well. <laughs> 50 seconds left to go in round number one. Melissa Gomez right now doing a great job with the kickboxing. Fighter from Chile in control. Yeah, Gomez just looks brand, brand new and they're not a dent in her face. Oh, beautiful right hand catching Perez off balance. Yeah. Perez had a nod there. You got yeah, me with Katie a good one. Katie that knows that, that Gomez is packing a lot of power in those punches. But since she switches so fast, it's so hard for Katie to get her down. Because as quick as she goes for the single leg or double leg, she's already moving around. Really, oh, 10 seconds in round there. number one, head kick. Completely losing her balance so far. Melissa Gomez completely in control, round number one. Oh, good stuff. Don't move, don't move. Okay, what are you doing? You're seeing everything and you're just not reacting to it. Mm -hmm. All she's looking is big loopy shots. You've got to go under and you've got to drive forwards hard. What are you waiting for? Why are we here? Okay, how are we going to do that? Make yeah, correct decisions, correct sense. Okay, so do those things. Yes, sense. There's no reason for this to be beating you right now. Yeah. You're yeah. just doubting yourself. Yeah. Trust yourself and ready to go. Good? Yes. All right, up and ready to go. Good to go. You've got to be in her face. Welcome back to round number two. Katie Perez in the blue, taking on Melissa Gomez in the red and white. Got a little mouse down there. Beat the right eye there, Jimmy. I'm surprised it isn't worse, Rodolfo, considering yeah. Gomez did land some power punches in round number one, very much in control. The fighter from Santiago, Chile, against the American. Trying to chase her down, but the advice uh, Katie Perez got in between rounds from her corner is, is in, in the easier said than done category. You've got to hit her in between those big punches, but you've been playing with the movement of Gomez throughout this makes that very, very difficult. It's, a route, it's about finding the right timing. But Gomez, is, she has fresh legs. She keeps moving around. And, it's, and it's, every time she's competing here, that's the difficulty all, the, the, all her opponents have had. Nice leg kick when she needs it as well. We have open scoring here. People are unaware. In Combate Global, it is 10-9 easy. Melissa Gomez winning first round. All three judges' scorecards. I completely agree with that. 
Oh, admonishing Katie Perez. Hey, look, you're seeing these punches coming. You're just not reacting at the right time. And and and, and as for Gomez as well, whoever his opponent she's facing, it's very frustrating because you can't catch him, right? And it's almost like come and fight me, but that's your strategy. That's what makes your win. We always say you can't ask your opponent to fight your kind of fight. You have to make them fight your kind of fight. So far, Katie Perez not able to make Gomez fight her kind of fight. And then diving takedown, looking for the double leg way too far outside to make that work. What we haven't seen from Katie Perez as well is, is, is a commitment to the leg kick as well. You have an opponent that's moving around a lot, take the legs out from under her, maybe some body work. We've seen none of it. She's trying to derail her, but she can't find the right set. Not staying up, trying to derail her. She's not staying on one track. No. Nope. She's moving very, very well. And that's the right timing that she needs to commit to that leg, but good way of Gomez defending that takedown. Great positioning of the hips and taking it to the howler. Working on the clinch. Ending up on the bottom, however, the jiu-jitsu blue belt on top of the brown belt right now, going with that knee slice pass. Gomez wanting nothing to do with the ground game. Very smart, good way of keeping this fight on the feet for Gomez. But you know, knowing that this is your fourth fight, Jimmy, and if I'm confident with my jiu-jitsu, why not test myself? I get it. You want to get that win? I understand. And I know stick to what you're good at. A lot of coaches would say, hey, testing yourself is for the gym. You want to go in there and win as easily as possible. But at the same time, you throw away your opponent because you're not expecting that, right? Good job right now, keeping Katie Perez grounded. Not committing to the ground game, but keeping her from getting up. I'm sure it will be a lot of Any man I can just step in, get her up. Here we are, right back to the kickboxing. He's been the staple of this fight so far with minute 45 left to go in round number two. It's been pretty much a kickboxing match. Gomez, been the serious superior kickboxer. Telegraph those punches, setting him up. And what I really liked about the, the corner of Katie Perez, you know, she's throwing in those goofy punches. You have to find the right timing when to strike it. That's, that's what Katie needs to be very cautious. She needs to wear those binoculars and find out when the right timing is to strike and go for the legs. Good job catching the body kick from Katie Perez. Musa Gomez, easy trip, easy takedown. You said it in round number one. It's, it, 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 it's the same in round number two. So she looks fresh. Looks like she just got out of bed. Like this fresh. is a, you know, a sparring session so far. There we go. You're going to see it together. As soon as you, you think you have her, boom, she moves out of the way. Yeah, good shoulder movement, good head movement, good footwork. Take down defense, Jimmy. You can't take that away. But look at the single punches so far from Katie Perez. Her corner's employing her combinations one at a time. Won't do it. Another thing against a great mover, throw that third and fourth punch. That's the one that'll catch him. Pot shots aren't going to do it. Damage has already been done. Look at that left leg. That hamstring area. Uh, Perez, though, starting to find a home for that left jab. A few jabs with only 20 seconds left to go in round number two, a round that has been controlled by Melissa Gomez. And you're right, that's one punches are not going to do nothing. You need, one, you need more than two there. Jab has started to work, but still a round number two controlled by Melissa Gomez. So we head to round number three. Yeah, vamos a vamos a moverlo. Solamente al suelo. Usted tiene que darle pasito atrás y luego golpea. Ya. Ocupe las piernas. Le, le tira una bajito. Hace una magia como que le tira una pierna. Ya. Hace una magia. Le hace una magia. Le tira. Ya. A magia. Quiero que la magia. Ya ganamos los dos rounds. Los dos primeros rounds. Este round no podemos regalarlo. ¿Ok? Nos vamos a mover, nos vamos a golpear, porque es preciso y nos movemos. Siempre para el lado derecho. ¿Ah? Amágale con tu derecha, métete. Sí. Toma, toma, toma. 
Welcome back to round number three. Katie Perez versus Melissa Gomez. You see Katie Perez in the blue. Melissa Gomez from Santiago, Chile in the red and white. Can Katie Perez flip the script? It has been all Melissa Gomez. Based on what you're seeing here, good movement, commitment to the overhand right, and power punches. Katie Perez just hasn't been able to find her opponent throughout this fight. And we've been talking about that movement and how much it could take away your energy. But Gomez just came into the third round. Like, if it was just the beginning of the first round, her coach told her, Keep doing what you're doing, but keep moving to the right side. Keep throwing the heavy punches. Stick and move, stick and move. Well, there's good news for Katie Perez. Round number two at the end, the jab started working a little bit. Started touching Gomez a little bit with the jab. but And you see here, round number three, starting off with a good jab. But we need more than that. Can she add to it? Get to the overhand right. Finally, Katie Perez showing Not offensive now, light. Now she's finding a little groove here. No surprise at all, an open scoring here from Bate Global. Melissa Gomez ahead two rounds to none against Katie Perez. Oh. Perez needing a finish in round number three. Katie tagged her, Jimmy. Gomez felt it. For the first time in this fight, Katie Perez is in the driver's seat a bit. Yeah, now notice how Gomez is going backpedaling now instead of going forward. <laughs> Notice that Gomez keeps going towards the right, not much to the left. Going to her right, you can run that jab, you can run that lead hook. Good stuff from Gomez, circling out of danger. If Katie were to find the right. Oh! Talk about the right punch! Beautiful left hook from Melissa Gomez. Dropping Katie Perez right to her knees. Oh boy, does Katie have a chin, has a chin. She's been hit many times there. She keeps going at it. And popped back, right back up. Trying to get back on the offensive, but just when it seemed like Katie Perez was starting to have a moment in this fight, man, the power. Melissa Gomez proving to still be there, Rodolfo. <laughs> Maybe a left hook to catch her derail Gomez. You know, feints could come into play here, Jimmy. Oh, that body shot hurt with that deep. Yep, right to the body. And Katie Perez in pain at the moment, but can Melissa Gomez capitalize? Back to the center they go. Now, Gomez, the, the power of Gomez, able to so far nullify the offense of Perez. And look at the numbers. No surprise here. Gomez way ahead in significant strikes. Also, much more accurate. Katie Perez going hard for the takedown. Good way of Gomez. Oh, that's it down. Now Perez has that chance. That's in two minutes. And half guard, the jiu-jitsu brown belt on top. Good way of putting in that right leg, yep. grabbing that leg of Gomez, the right one. Blue belt on bottom, trying to get something done in a fight where she has been comfortably ahead the entire time. And there she wants the mount that she wanted. Explosion oh, from Gomez go back to her feet. Beautiful timing. Sometimes desperation is exactly what you need, and that's what Gomez had. Gomez doesn't want to stay there. Minute 15 left. We've got some drama in round number three, Rodolfo. <laughs> yeah, Gomez, you can see that that stamina is going down, backpedaling, just trying to kill the clock. Oh, she got clipped. Katie just got to keep going. Beautiful left hook. Now diving for the takedown. Single leg not happening. Katie, too, a little go, tired as well. Katie, you got about 30 seconds. Go. We got to go. Everything we got. Once again, we know from the open scoring, Gomez has banked rounds one and two. Katie Perez needs a finish, and she will not get the victory tonight. Notice so the volume of Gomez is just it's not there anymore, and she's throwing wild. In fact, that right hand she threw, she forgot her footing there. That's the fatigue in her. Yeah, in the Iranian position, head in the middle, which got to drop your hips to get that to work. 
So far, not gonna happen. 15 seconds left. Gomez staying on her feet. Katie Perez going hard for the takedown. Take take she down. gets it. Can she capitalize? 10 seconds left. And it just this very hard, Jimmy. But Katie Perez, we called her a wild woman. We called her aggressive. She showed it in round number three. She never breaks. Could be a case of too little, too late in this case. A lot of hard, a little too late. I'm sure she'll learn a lot from it, but good stuff from both these women. It was a war. We'll find out the particulars when we come back. Welcome to La Jaula. We had a war between Katie Perez and Melissa Gomez. Beatrice Callis, make it official. After three rounds of much more action, this is the final decision. Después de tres vueltas de mucha más acción, esta es la decisión oficial. Los jueces Jonathan Lane and Dorian Mirasola entregan tarjetas idénticas de 30 a 27. Judges Jonathan Lane and Dorian Mirasola turning identical scorecards of 30 to 27. Y Richard Green Sr. entrega tarjeta de 29 a 28. All in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. Todos a favor del ganador por decisión unánime. Melissa Gomez! Melissa Gomez moving to 4-0 undefeated. Oh, you know your jujitsu, my friend, and two inches height advantage for Anna Summers. That is it. The story of this fight is not about the numbers. About what's in between the ears. Both these ladies very mentally strong. Omar, let's get them started. Ahora continuamos con mucha más acción con este compromiso pautado a tres asaltos de cinco minutos en la división de peso átomo. Now we are ready to continue with much more action with this bout set to three rounds of five minutes in the atom weight division. Los jueces son Eliseo Rodríguez. Vicente Rodríguez y Richard Green Jr. Y ahora sí, damas y caballeros, the time is here para un combate global. Presentando en la esquina azul, now introducing out of the blue corner. Entra con un récord profesional de dos victorias. She steps in with an undefeated record of two victories. Registró 105.4 libras en la báscula. She weighed in at 105.4 pounds. Vistiendo todo de rojo, wearing all red. Es de Santiago de Chile. Melissa Gomez. Y ahora presentando a su oponente en la esquina roja. Now introducing her opponent out of the red corner. Entra con un record profesional de una victoria y una derrota. She steps in with a professional record of one victory, one loss. Weighed in at 105.4 pounds. Registró un peso oficial de 105.4 libras. Vistiendo de azul y los colores de la bandera americana de Crestwood, Illinois. Anna, the Honey Badger, Summers. Y el referee para este encuentro, el Boricua, Ramón Ramos. I got, come here. We're we'll taking this up at all time. Una pregunta, you have a question? No questions? Shake hands right now. Okay, Spanish. Can I pregunta? No. Okay, I'm going to be talking both English and Spanish. Me respeto, okay? Shake hands. Respeto. Padre. We are ready to get underway. Round number one, Melissa Gomez from Santiago, Chile in the red. Anna Summers from Chicago, Illinois in the blue. Frank, Frank Mir once said, he said, I don't go to get the tap. I go to break it. You tap on the way, you don't go to the hospital. Great advice for anyone doing jujitsu in MMA. Summers, more than Ready. willing to do that. Keep that in mind. The bell rings for round number one. And shout out to Orlando Galinda who suffered that injury because right after, on her hospital bed, she said, 
I want that rematch. <laughs> that is guts, my that, friend. That's and, a lot of heart, man. <laughs> and that is what the ladies bring. And La Howla, and they're coming out swinging, Juliana. These girls are scrappy. Nice leg kick by both of these girls. It's really nice. Oh. And Gomez is coming in a lot of aggression. I don't you think they know that, that defense Summers is a thing. Like it. I don't think they know that defense. You know you can move your head. You keep your hands up. Nope. These ladies just know how to throw. Oh, their careers are still in diapers. They'll get there. <laughs> Gomez has a lot of power in those shots. Summers, if she hit her, she's going to strike right back hard. But she's going to stick pick, perhaps to that bread and butter, that jiu-jitsu. Oh. Listen, they eat, sleep, fighting. Summers, her partner, they both started uh, an MMA agent, but that's where they train. So this is something they do 24-7, guys. And Gomez is so aggressive, and she knows that Summers wants to take her down, and she ain't having any part of it. And when you look at Gomez's tapes, you look at all of her fights, it's this funky, rangy style where she leans into a lot of her punches. It's really hard to see her offense coming because she, she disguises it well with her movement. It's hard to time. Those unorthodox strikers yeah. are my favorite. Chuck Liddell, Igor Vovchanchin, Fedor Emelianenko. You don't quite see where the punches are coming from until it's too late. But if, they, if you catch him, guys, it's all timber. And you can tell that in the beginning of those exchanges, Gomez landed and Summers does not like it. Like, was not expecting Ooh, it. Oh, oh. Slipped there, guys. She tripped, uh, slipped on the mat. That push kick got a little bit caught up there. Nicely done by Gomez, still attacking the entire time, saying, I'm not letting you up. I love it. She wants to caught her to the ground, but Gomez is not having any of that. This is exactly where Summers wants the fight, too. She wants to invite her down there and say, come on, come come play with me down here. But Gomez is like, nah, I'll just kick <laughs> you a bunch and, you know. Stay aggressive on my feet because at this point, you know, who looks like they're winning the fight? I would definitely say Gomez. Oh, nice up kick. This is looking shades of Sakuraba for the old school fans. In pride, he would kick your legs right off of you from this position. And Summers is thinking about kicking that because she's having a hard oh. time. Tried to kick her way back to her feet, landed to the body, but we call it the safe get up in jiu-jitsu and MMA. She has to get up without exposing her head. Absolutely. It's not easy there to she do. Goes. She got it. There it is. Right into a double leg. Nicely done, and she's looking for the takedown, and she gets it. Nicely done by Anna Summers. She needs to keep staying on it. Oh. Gomez not having it, however. Back to the center they go. Nicely done by Anna Summers to get back to her feet. I don't know about you guys, my heart is racing. It has been nonstop. Can they keep up this pace? Yes, they that can. That is the question. <laughs> yes, they can. Both these ladies known for their conditioning, known for their aggression. But it's like they're looking across the, you know, La Jaula at, at, at a mirror image of themselves. I don't know if they're used to facing someone as aggressive as they are early in the fight. Absolutely. And these uh, Adam weights, they can go like this all day long. 105 pounds, that's what I love about Combate Americas. Or, excuse me, Combate Global. They, uh, they have the ability to get all of the smaller girls. You don't see a lot of the smaller weight classes in the other organization. No trading leg kicks. Oh, and it's a hard leg kick that once again takes Summers off her feet. Gomez, a big fan of Rose Namajunas, you see her in her style. And you can see Summers is still trying to be aggressive on there, still trying to do it, but ooh, oh, uh, Ramos, I, welcome on. to Combate Global. I don't know if I agree with that stand-up. She was throwing those leg it kicks. Still it doesn't matter, me, Jimmy. <laughs> Mucho <laughs> más acción. It doesn't matter. I feel, not, I feel very attacked right now. Gomez I know you guys. Summers Let's down to the here. ground. And look at the damage that Gomez has done to the legs of Summers for being at the ground. You gotta take that in consideration. You know how much of an impact that'll do when she gets back on her feet, if she gets it, right? Yeah, and that no, left leg is welted up. <laughs> once again, trying to up. Once again, a stand-up. Gomez is throwing a lot of kicks. There it is. There it is. Here it comes now. Here's Summer's chance to get the fight where she wants it. In the clinch, body lock takedown. Gomez is so savvy. She knows that Summer wants to take her down, and she's not having it. I love that takedown defense by Gomez. You could tell that she practiced this over and over and over again. She knew what she was going up against here. Now. Still that awkward movement of Melissa Gomez, 2-0 and in her career. Facing Summers, who is one and one. Both these ladies just getting started. It's a nice head kick attempt by Summers. Almost landed on Summers' shirt. Hard to time that in and out. Big movements from Gomez. Good right hand to punctuate Great round stuff, number guys. one. Great stuff. Wow. 
the energy both of these fighters brought. Like I said, it's so rare that, that, that an aggressive fighter sees someone just as aggressive as they are across the cage from him. There's no holding back, JP, in this one. Yeah, I mean, ella lo único que quiere abrazarte, ella no quiere pelear contigo. Tú la vas a esperar, no no quiero que 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 te Bringing after that jiu-jitsu game, which feels very confident. I gotta ask my broadcast partners here, do you think Gomez can keep this pace up rounds two and three? Is that not a huge question? That's a huge question. Both of them, right? They both released a lot of energy in those five minutes. I say yes, because uh, women can do anything, and you know, especially at this light uh, weight class, 105 <laughs> atom weight. You know, there is a little bit of a surprise that we have later, uh, the super atomweight division that we're going to be adding in, and uh, we can't wait for that. We got the Claire Lopez fighting over there in Japan for that Risen title July 30th. And, uh, you know, we're going to be cross-promoting there with Risen, but uh, that 108 class is, is going to be a, a big instrument here in the women's divisions because some of these girls, they, they can't make it, but they can make uh, 108. And, and we're, we're fighting over that three-pound discrepancy. Are they going to be fighting at 108? Are they going to be fighting at 113? Uh, all that matters, though, is that we have all of the lighter weight divisions in, in Combate Global. And, and whoa, what a head kick from Summers. And here is a scorecard from round number one. No surprise, Melissa Gomez, 10-9 across the board. And also to start round number two, kind of kind of answering our question here is Melissa Gomez still moving, still angling, sh still showing a lot of energy. I thought you said, can Melissa Gomez keep up that pace? And I think she, she can. is. Yeah, no, she is. She yeah. is. Summers has to find a way inside, find a way around the kicks and the punches of Gomez. Caught off balance twice, taken off her feet in round number one. Own kicks of her own, but. Nicely done by get Gomez. Get <laughs> caught by Gomez. Keep her great balance, balance from Summers. Wow. Man, he's just going. Gomez is scrappy. I love it. And you know what? She's from Chile. And I got some training partners from Chile. I got uh, Carolina Gallardo, who fights for uh, Combate Global. I got Nacho Baja Mondes, who uh, has fought for Combate Global uh, in the past, who's now fighting in the UFC. Chileans know how to fight on their feet, for sure. That's the first thing. Let's get that straight. And they are really good on the feet. Try to attempt that spinning back elbow, but the last time we saw Gomez was back in August of last year. In fact, she made her debut back in May. Both of them went the distance, picking up a unanimous decision, a split decision, her latest. Keep your so. hands locked, Anna Summers. Keep them locked and pull her off the fence. Get this takedown because you need it. Stamina is there, guys. Pull her off the fence, Anna. Good balance so far for Melissa Gomez. Done by Anna Summers being able to stay in this clinch. This is where she wants the fight, and this is where she needs the fight to take place. She cannot let those hands go. And she realizes that boxing with Gomez is not a good idea. Trying to flip the script and good body lock, but no takedown. Take her off the fence. Got Nicely it. done. Oh, now this is where Anna can really capitalize and win this fight. Right into side control. Nice shoulder pressure by Anna Summers, too. Look at that. She's right making her throat area gurgle. There, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Gomez is so scrappy. And it, but this is going to take a lot out of Gomez in this position. Absolutely. You can tell that this is where Anna wanted the fight to take place the entire time. And, and, and kudos to her for being patient and sticking with her game plan and finally getting this takedown. If I'm Anna, I ain't letting her up for the rest of the round. Right now, north-south position. Good job moving back and forth from side control to north-south, but now back in guard. She's quick and just laying in that body. As soon as she sees an opening, Gomez moves. She's rightfully right there to catch her. But you get that feeling, as you said, Juliana, in this weight class, like, if she gets an inch, she's gonna hop back to her feet. They're so light, they're so quick. It's not like working heavyweight, light heavyweight, like, 
You give any space at all, your opponent is up and gone. Yes, and that's that's a really big thing though too. Is, is do they know how to get up properly? And and Anna is going to do everything that she can to keep her down here. Nice elbow over the top for Anna Summers. And now it's time to get dirty and it's time to go to work if you're Anna because you don't want the referee to stop it. Also, Rodolfo can be so frustrating if you're used to angling and pushing the pace, and you find yourself suddenly on your butt when it looked like all the momentum was going away. Mentally, it can be hard to get over. This, this is a big, big deficit here for Gomez. Being on the ground is going to take a lot of wind from her, but Summers capitalizing and landing in those shots. Those hammer fists. He's on elbow up. later on. Don't let her up, Anna. Look at that. Leg right there available for Gomez. Nicely done by Gomez. She was almost back to her feet, but Anna's like a dog on a bone, and she's staying on her. She's yes. not letting this one go. Summer's she's not allowing right, right this back. to get back to the yeah. feet. Gomez is doing a good job of keeping her away. Nicely right done. There. Yeah, she's just beautiful job. By just letting everyone at home know that I'm keeping a good distance from my broadcast partner, Juliana Pena, who has her <laughs> fist clenched and is ready to throw some strikes. So I'm staying over here, more on the right, Rodolfo. When she starts clenching the left, just stay further away. No right. way, man. Stay safe, buddy. No, 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 no. I don't fight for free. Looking to get up, a, looking to throw up an arm bar. Uh, Melissa Gomez is doing a nice job of staying offensive off of her back. She needs to get back to her feet, though, if she wants to continue to win this fight. Well, Summers looked to flip the script. She did it in round number two. We'll know in a little bit if it was enough. Remember, we have open scoring. Did she win it back in that round number two with that ground game? She was confident. She gave herself a nod. She knows that she picked up this round in her pocket. I'm so happy for her because she was able to turn it around. You know, she was able to, to stay composed and, and realize, hey, this is where I'm going to win this fight. And, uh, you know, she, she stuck to it. She's not going to defend And that's what makes you fighter. When you get the body, you know better than anyone else. You're down, you got to find that, 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 that grit, that willingness to defend. Find that right after you get the body. That's what makes you as a mature fighter. She's going to make a mistake. all about perseverance and that body lock. Make her make a mistake. Once she misses, make her pay and then go for the shot. Right around the guard, landed this inside the control, fight. right where she wanted to be, staying in that dominant position. Seeing where both fighters will be successful. Gomez in the red from Santiago, Chile, has been successful on the feet. Her opponent, Anna Summers from Chicago, Illinois, in the blue, has had success on the ground. Where will it go in round number three? We're about to find out. This is all system goes, guys. No, no, it's cool. I had just gotten back. I was, it's not cool. That angle, that movement there from Gomez is there, so the stamina, there's no question about it. And we're wondering if she could still do it in round number three. She is. Big you, movements left and right. You know, you made a good point, Jimmy. In uh, the beginning of round two, you had asked, can Gomez keep up this pace? And I said she could, and she did a good job up until the point that she got in the clinch, and I was like, oh, no, maybe she is tired. <laughs> and that's when Anna was able to capitalize and get that takedown. So let's see if Anna can do it again. And also, we've been seeing it all night, Juliana, that you know, a Muay Thai fighter can do Muay Thai forever. Make them wrestle, they're out of, of, of gas in a couple minutes. The same thing, if you, if you get someone out of their comfort zone, they get much more fatigued, and Summers has to do that to slow Gomez down. Much more fatigued, and it's very tiring going backwards. So uh, when you can be able to take them out of their comfort zone and make them move back, that, that, that gas is a person. And it is 19-19, all tied up. Oh, all three judges' scorecards have it one round apiece. I have Happen to agree with that, yeah. and it's very, very fair. But this round and this fight are up for grabs. For all the marbles. Oh, Anna trying to get into that clinch, but Gomez knows it. Nice leg kick by Melissa. Little exchange there. Nice body kick by Anna Summers, but uh, Gomez is waiting for her to do it so that she can plow with her right hand. Quickness oh. there and catching it. One of the difficulties, if you have a grappling style, is you have to find a way to get inside. Running forward, looking for a body lock, isn't going to work in a striker like Gomez. Use your hands to set up your takedowns. Use your hands to set up your takedowns. Matt Hughes, back in the day, that was his specialty, was fake the double and hit you with the overhand right, right when you were thinking takedown. Hope you're listening, Matt Hughes. It's your good friend, JP, and we miss you. We remember you well. Absolutely. Greatest welterweights of all time. Gomez, 50 punches to Summers, 23. Kicks are exactly equal. 
But Gomez, just a punching machine. You know what I love about Gomez is that she knows that Anna wants to take her down, so she punches and then she's out of there. She goes and she finds a new spot. I love that because it's hard to track somebody down who's constantly moving, going side to side. It, it's nicely done and it's a great strategy by Gomez. And Rodolfo, you haven't gotten the sense that any one punch has really hurt Summers. It's just the volume. Her face is now bright red. It wasn't any one shot. It's at Gomez keeping the pressure on. It's that consistency and the movement is, is there, guys. And that is frustrating for someone because you just can't catch her. This leg kick by Gomez. Anna, use your, use your hands to set up your takedowns. Now right pulling there. forward, throwing straight yeah. punches. And Gomez, to your point, Juliana, out every single time. Yes, she's doing a great job of that. She's always finding a new spot. She's never staying stationary. She knows Summers wants to take her down, and she's out of there. She's so good at her reading her opponent exactly her strategy. And Summers hasn't really committed to any level changes, meaning no single leg, no double leg. It's been body lock over and over. That's just a Liga uh -huh. hair tie. Uh -huh. I thought it was a mouthpiece. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> You guys can discuss hair ties. I, I'm i bald, I have no idea. I'm not I'm that assuming. far, Jamie, I'm not that far. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Juliana Pena's word for it as Gomez continues to throw punches and cut angles on a very game Summers who just can't seem to find a way inside. Anna Summers doing everything she can, but can't seem to corner Gomez enough to take her down. Look, it, Gomez is so smart, right? She she spent the majority of that round two on her back and she was like, uh-uh, I don't like it down here and I'm not gonna let it happen again. And she's not. Round three, she is making sure of it, that she is not gonna be in any dangerous position to be getting taken down. It's that quickness, that footwork. What do they say? Stalk, don't chase. And it looks right now like Anna's kind of Anna Summers is kind of chasing Gomez around La Jaula, not able to cut off uh, La Jaula and make it a little bit smaller on her. Not able to do that. No, and she's uh, behind the gun here. 40 seconds left in the third and final. She's got to do something. Nice right hand by Anna Summers. That was nice. No, left hook there sneaks in by Anna Summers. That was great. Sorry, Rodolfo. Yeah, no, Summers just seems just, just, just swerving out there. Has her just puzzled. Under 30 seconds to go, round number three. Melissa Gomez, Anna oh, Summers, they've left it all in La Jaula so far. But Gomez, if she can keep it up, will nice. have a decision victory. Ooh. Can Summers turn it around with 15 seconds left? And what I like, JP, is as soon as Melissa feels that she's gonna get grabbed by Summers, she quickly moves right out. I like love Houdini. it. She's always finding a new spot. That's what I call it. Go find a new spot. She's doing a great job of that. Excellent power, excellent combinations, excellent fight IQ from Melissa Gomez. The question is, was it enough in the eyes of the judges as they give each other their respect? It was hard fought, but Melissa Gomez saw round number three go her way. Is it enough? That's the question. We'll answer it on the other side of this break. Well, we knew it was tied going into round number three. Who left it all in the howla in the last five minutes? That's the question for the answer. Here is Omar Amador. Después de tres asaltos de mucha más acción after three rounds of much more action. Todos los jueces están de acuerdo. All the judges are in agreement. Con tarjetas 29 a 28. With scorecards 29 to 28. Para la ganadora, por decisión unánime. For the winner, by unanimous decision. Melissa Gomez! Hard fought win for Melissa Gomez. But I gotta tell you, Rodolfo, I wanna see them both fight again. This was a great performance by both fighters. We go head to head, gotta, ah, gotta. One year older, Gomez has a two inch height advantage, two inch via the reach. Yes, we're at 105 pounds, the Adam weight division, which has been a tremendous weight class here for Combate with incredible fights. Will this be another one? Let's find out. Let's go to Lupe Contreras inside La Jaula. Continuamos con mucha más acción este duelo tres vueltas división peso átomo this bout three rounds in the atom weight division los jueces son the judges are Dorian Mirasola Richard Green Jr. y Lorenzo Toledo y ahora 
damas y caballeros, llegó el momento de un combate global. Presentando en la esquina azul, vestida de blanco, presenting the blue corner, wearing white, su peso oficial, 105 libras y tres cuartos, her official weight, 105 and three quarter pounds. En su segundo combate a nivel profesional, con récord de una victoria, she enters la jaula for the second time as a pro with a record of one victory. De San Sebastián, Chile, Melissa Gómez. Su oponente en la esquina roja, vestida de negro, her opponent in the red corner, wearing black. Marcó un peso oficial de 105 libras y tres cuartos. She tipped the scales at an identical 105 and three quarter pounds. Esta noche entra a la jaula en busca de su primer victoria con récord de tres derrotas. Tonight, she enters la jaula looking for her first victory with a record of three losses. De la Ciudad de México, Elizabeth Mogoya. El referee internacional. Raúl Porrata. International referee, Marcelo. el bigote, Raúl Porrata. Obedecen a mis órdenes y protegen en todos momentos. Obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Toquen guantes ahora, si quieren, regresen a su esquina. Melissa Gómez and Elizabeth Mogoyan. Lista, acción. The Chilean Gómez in white, looking to improve to 2-0. Unanimous victory of Jareli Reyes back in May. She fought once before, but it wasn't really uh, acknowledged back in 2016. Mogollan Max, of course, she's still searching for that first victory in Ahala. She's taking this very seriously. She stopped working as a chiropractor to really focus on her fight game. She went from single day practices to three times a day to perfect her game. She's trying to go for that victory. This is her shot right here against Melissa Gomez. It's in the 105-pound uh, Adam Weights, and I know you say that's a uh, very low weight class, 105 pounds. But these fighters fight so much bigger, in particular with Combate Global. At 105, Ana Palacios, who was Went viral with her victory a few weeks ago. We're going to see Claire Lopez, who's ranked second. Gloria Bravo is impressive the last time we saw her. And these two fighters looking to make it into the top 10, neither in there just yet. A win for Gomez may leap her into it. Not the movement from both these ladies. They know that they both have great stand up. But they gotta come in. They gotta come close. They gotta get inside the pocket if they're gonna trade some leather. Lots of movement, lot, not a lot of contact. There we go. Sharp left hand by Gomez go. gets through. Yeah, a lot of space in between that position. None of them con cutting any corners. There we go. Now we're laying in some leather. Dropping it down. Mugoyan getting through as well. Switching stances a couple times. It's an unorthodox approach from Gomez. Yeah, look at her stance from Gomez. It's uh, very different as you see if you're comparing the stance from Gomez. And Ellie, Ellie does have that typical boxing guard, if you want to say, but Gomez kind of loopy, kind of confusing at times. And, and every, everyone has their own style. You know, everyone yeah. has their, their, their sort of stance of what works for them. Seems to work for Gomez. Right. Well, again, having difficulty to see where these punches are coming, just nonstop motion. For Gomez, who did her entire camp in Chile, said it was very difficult because it's winter time. And if you don't know where Chile is on the map, it is at the bottom of the Americas all the way. You're going down where, where's that Antarctica down there? Right now, it's is it very Arctic cold. I, I forgot the <laughs> poles. <laughs> It's, not, it's the one that we Santa, fight Santa facts, doesn't live in, the you. other one. <laughs> we're not, we're not talking geography here. But it is, <laughs> uh, some would here. say, the bottom of the world. And right now in the yes. southern hemisphere, it is winter time, it especially that Antarctica. far south. Chileans rallying cry, los de abajo, those from below. Yeah, it's very cold down there right now. She was telling me that that has been the most difficult part about this training. She is a mom. She has to take care of her child. So training up very early. Five, four in the morning in winter time. Boy, you really gotta want it. The hard part is getting out of getting out of bed, getting right, out of the house, right. getting to the gym. Right. Once you get there, you're golden. 
but oh, Gomez here just still testing out. But I like about Gomez, and I think what's really keeping Ellie here is, is, is Gomez. See how the stance, the foot movement is very tricky to pinpoint where she's gonna go. So look at just look at the move, of the hips. It's just very. You have to just keep looking at the eyes. The eyes will tell you everywhere they're gonna go. Faints, bobs, switches. Okay, now a little bit timid, gets out of there. Doesn't have the range. Yeah, Ellie needs to cut in. She has to come in right in that middle. That opening is there. Maybe even work on the low kicks. It's gonna stop Gomez from doing those, those kind of weird movement that she does with the foot that, that's working right now. I mean, it, it's, it's working for Gomez, but Ellie needs to cut in. She needs to cut her to stop her from doing it. You need to be the one that pushes the pace to strike. Because then you're gonna be striking air. 40 seconds to go. You can see Campbell McLaren's made his way to Howla side, and if he goes into the cage after a fight, it means he approves. This one's still a work in progress. What Ellie should do here, dude, not the feints to throw her off and make her move, and as soon as she moves, you cut her in. Mogollon just can't find the range. She can't, she has to. Or maybe even try, and we have the Howla, right? We don't have any corners, but force her. Mogollan has lost both her fights in combate, most frequently to Tamika Jones back in December of last year. This is her first fight in 2022. She will go to a second round once we return. Approaching round two here in our Atomweight matchup in combate global. Uh, we seem like I have a 105 pound fight every week. It's just the one here this time and some coaching going on for Mogoyan. It's a good time. You, you, you got a good look at an unorthodox fighter, but certainly a, a chance to talk with your, your corner can give you a better idea how to approach it. Yeah, and you're here. Lots of swinging, but the exchanges here, you can count them. That was one of them that we saw, and I think is thanks to Gomez's footwork that's leaving Avila puzzled. She has to cut in if she wants to hold and strike. We are back getting ready for round two. Melissa Gomez hoping to find a way into the top 10 of the Adam Waite Divisions. Last time she fought, she was in a boxing match. That was back in August. Certainly a chance to work on your striking. Nothing goes to waste. What do you think about that if you're an MMA to take a, 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 a boxing match in between? Well, you got to keep active. And sometimes in MMA, you you can't find the fight, especially now we just got rid of COVID and it's better to be pandemic. Active. You have to be active. And it also tests your skills. Where am I, am I boxing? The boxing, and I get in debates all the time with this, Many people thought about what Floyd Mayweather took Conor McGregor. You're not going to get the, 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 the same type of fight. McGregor's an MMA fighter. Mayweather's a pure boxer. If you can take a look at the box, uh, the open scoring here, Max. And Gomez certainly worthy to get those scores across the board. 10-9. Starting to pepper a little more direct. So the hard part of it is, is putting all that and combining it. So sometimes it is worth for you to find out where your striking is or your grappling, or your Muay Thai. And then you have to figure out how to combine all those disciplines and it becomes mixed martial arts. There it is, now Ellie's fighting the pace. She's landing in those low kicks. She's cutting her off. I guess she figured out the puzzle now. That she has to come in. As soon as Gomez throws, you have to hit strike. I mean, strike real quickly. What a victory here. What a good stretch for Mogoyan could do. Has not been able to catch the breaks. Uh, it is worth mentioning her two defeats in combate went the distance. One was via split decision. So she has not been outclassed, just has been outlucked. She has to keep doing what she was. As soon as Gomez comes in, she's throwing in that over right. Boom, hit the low leg, the low kick. Strike again, you have to be consistent. Gomez, Gomez is doing what she needs to do which is a, a very similar playbook what she had with Harley Reyes. 
Reyes too had that strong stand up background. Rodolfo, not to dwell on the fact it's 105, but this weight division was hard to, as we look at the stats, and a, a huge edge for Gomez with the punches. No takedowns for either fighter. I don't think we're going to see any, or many at all. But just the fact that we can get this many fights at 105, because that's where some of these promotions discourage having this weight class. But Combate, we're going 15, 20 deep. There, there was a time where women at this weight class was hard to find. You could only find them in Asia. Asia had been doing these type of fights for a very long time until women, men, women's MMA started picking up. And now we are seeing women from South America, from Europe, that are making their way here in Combate Global. So women now are getting a, a, a taste practicing mixed martial arts. And, and it also comes with, I mean, let's face it, MMA is still a youngster, right? It, it just it just became it's, it's legal to drink not too long ago. It's dying bumpers. <laughs> it's still not even able to drink. So now, like my daughter, you know, daughters right now, little girls right now are in MMA. So we're going to see more women as we go. A lot of little girls right now are potentially watching this fight right now that are getting motivated that, hey, dad, I want to go try this out. So we're going to get more women all over the world that compete. And this is what's exciting. And we talked to Kemal McLaren and the powers that be, Micah Framowitz, this is priority number one because the audience wants this. The audience wants more women's fight. They do the data and the metrics, and whether it's in the United States or Mexico or around the world, they want more women's fight. The participation isn't there with the men, but that seems to change. If there's more money, if there's more prestige, if there's titles to be won, more women will get into MMA. We're seeing that process. Because as you said, started at zero not that long ago. And women just bring it. I mean, it's, it's not, it's, it's, I'm not making this up. I'm not blowing smoke. Women fighting are just more Gen exciting. That's the just more, my, it really is. You may not agree with this. It's more violent. The, yes, they want it more. And I've asked many of these, you know, our, our, our women athletes, and they say, is this, I think we just wanted more, we want to prove to the males that we belong here and that we might deliver a better show than them. You heard that huge yeah. smack of a kick from Gomez starting to wear down Mogollan. But, Mogollan is a, is a strong build. It can be tough to tear down. And she stands there in the pocket. But yeah, Max, it's such a long history in the, in, in the women's mixed martial arts. And I could go with some of the historicals, the history, rather, women of Makuri Fuji, a very famous person. Looks like we're heading to round three. Mogollan getting a little better on our fighting, but still may have a hole to dig out of. Now we get to the round three. And uh, Gomez knew it wasn't going to be easy, but probably was hoping to have done a little more damage to, to have a little more breathing room. She doesn't have it yet. She says, hey, look here, the straight low kick to Ellie. Gomez doing what she needs to do, keeping Ellie puzzled where to go, really calling her, calling her in, but that footwork of Gomez is working in her benefit. Ellie did land some shots there with that overhand right, as you can see in that exchange of hands. They connect, but she needs to keep doing that. As soon as Gomez comes in, just keep striking. That's the way you're going to stop her down. Back here for round three. Looks like we're going to need a grandstand finish for Elizabeth Mogoyan. And really, her career hangs in the balance. Needs to get a victory here. Uh, she needs that victory. She needs that victory. She it, knows it. Yeah, she. <laughs> it's do or die for her uh, mentally. You know, she, <laughs> this is going to determine a lot of her future in mixed martial arts. La Chilena, Melissa Gomez in white. Seems like we have a Chilean fighter every week, which is great sign. <laughs> As we said, Mogoyan looked a little better in round two. Was it enough to sway the judges? Well, it was. Oh, All three judges. No. And now a big combination by Mogoyan. Growth from Man. the Mexican fighter. I would have loved to have been a fly in that corner of uh, Mogoyan to see what that coach told her. They got it. They had to tell her, go, look, you did it. You did well in that second round. Now build off of that. 
You have to. That's it. This is it. Oh, there it is. You have to follow through. See, that's what I'm saying. As soon as you're going to have to take a shot or two, but you need to follow up before if you want to get to Gomez, because Gomez is footwork. That, that's what's really making it very difficult for Ali to chase. She's you feeling confident. She's out of the range of Gomez. You have to do that. That's the only way you're going to stop Gomez. Mogoyan, who has fought so hard in her career, has had tough luck after tough luck, training with the Bone Breakers, with the Martinez's, Meli and David. Been training for seven years. This is her biggest moment in the spotlight. Big card on Combate Global. And after winning the second round, could have that elusive first victory in MMA if she keeps it going in round three. And right now, Ellie understands the position that she's in. She's literally throwing everything in the kitchen sink. That's it. Spitty back elbows, spitty back fists, anything that lands. Let's go. Good footwork for Mogoyan. Has to keep it up. And see that? She's really, see, we receive a different type of movements from her. She's doing the unorthodox moving now. She's, she's starting yeah, she's, to bend and shuffle. There we go. Change levels. Great head movement from Ellie. Gomez, she's keeping at the same strategy. She hasn't changed much. Gomez has, has to pick up the pace here. Yeah, she has to, because Ellie has adjusted over time. Yeah, she she's has the momentum. The, she's not the same Ellie that we saw in that opening round, and she's been bettering herself as we're now getting into the third round. Oh, good little rabbit left jab there by Gomez. She's had the range, but she hasn't done enough with it. She has two minutes to change the plot. Bobo, yeah, now two minutes to go for that first win. I'll tell you, Max, if Ellie wins, we're going to see a lot of tears from that young man. I know. She's got to stay focused as she takes a big right hand, gets out of there. She does. It's, it's on a razor's edge. Another big shot from Gomez, doubling up. Her back's against the wall right now, Max. She has to throw everything. She has two minutes that can determine the career. It makes martial arts for this young lady. Gomez starting to get her foot on the pedal. Both fighters have to close the gap. Both of them have to go for it. This fight is on a platter. The victory's on a platter. Right now, is, does Ellie want it? Gomez, she's doing what she needs to do. She will improve to another victory. It's screaming, for, it, it's screaming for a takedown attempt, but we're not going to get it. I would. Why not? I, I, it you, would, you would, it you would win, win the, the fight You here. would win the round. You would win the fight. Absolutely. This I is, would take the chance. This is where the corner has to come into view. Maybe they're saying that. We can't hear it. And you will throw Gomez off if Ellie were to go to the ground. It seems like Gomez is an open target. Pretty open stance. I would faint, throw the shot, fake it, and go straight down to the leg. I mean, at this point, right, with my record, why not? Go for it. This is it. You may not get brought back if you don't win this fight. You got to go. You got to take the, the chance. You want to win it? I bet you. You throw in that. Oh, she got hit in the It's unfortunate because Mogollan has worked so hard in that second round through the beginning of this third round, but now getting a little timid, trying to stay out of reach. This, this, this last round here, Max. I know right now with those last these 20, 30 seconds, she's throwing getting energy, closer. but she got hit. Getting closer. Ellie knows. Now go oh, down right there. There it is. I might have won her double that. roll down. Mogoyan's on her back, and that might be that. that Ten might seconds. Be it. Gomez has it. She took it. She was the one to pull the trigger on the ground game. Very smart in her. Ellie. End of the fight. That was after the bell, but okay in the eyes of Raul Porata. It's going to be really, really close, but you wonder if Mogoyan had an opportunity and she let it slip through her fingers. She seems confident, but we'll see if the judges agree. It's going to be close. It's always fun to see a fight that goes down to the wire. We are back. Time now for the official decision in our featured Adam Weight fight. Tolupe. Juez Mirasola anotó 29 a 28 a favor de Gomez after three rounds. 
Judge Midasol scores at 29 28 in favor of Gomez. El juez Green, 29 28 a favor de Mogollan. Judge Green scores at 29 28 in favor of Mogollan. Y el juez Toledo anotó. 29 a 28, Judge Toledo scores at 29 to 28 in favor of the winner by way of split decision. A favor de la ganadora. Por decisión dividida. Melissa Gomez! Melissa Gomez improves to 2 0. It wasn't pretty, but she was able to muscle it out. There should be a fun fight between these two ladies. And Women never disappoint here inside La Jaula. No, they're so popular. The numbers prove that the audience is growing and they want to see the ladies fight. As we see Reyes, who's just 20, two inches shorter, three inches less on the reach. She is the favorite here in the atom weight. Let's go to La Voz, Lupe. Continuamos con el duelo co-estelar de esta noche, tres vueltas. División peso átomo, we continue with our co-featured bout of the evening, three rounds in the atom weight division. Los jueces son, the judges are, Richard Green, James Lázaro y Lorenzo Toledo. Y ahora, damas y caballeros, llegó el momento de un combate global. Presentando en la esquina azul, vestida de negro, introduced in the blue corner, wearing black. Su peso oficial, 105 libras, her official weight, 105 pounds. Esta noche, se lanza las grandes ligas en las artes marciales mixtas. Dentro de la jaula de combate global tonight, she makes the leap into the big leagues of MMA inside of la jaula de Santiago, Chile. Melissa Gomez. Su contraria en la esquina roja, her opponent in the red corner, vestida de blanco, wearing white, her official weight, 105 and one quarter pounds, su peso oficial, 105 libras y un cuarto, igual que su rival, debuta a nivel profesional dentro de la jaula, like her opponent, she too is making her professional debut, de Ensenada, Baja California, Mexico. Yareli Reyes. El referee, Raúl Porrata. El gran bigote, Raúl Porrata. Now, Yareli Reyes, who's in white, looks like the girl next door, looks like your kid sister's friend. She is very short in stature. When she won that fight, she was 17. But looks can be Ooh, deceiving. Tactic. Everything we've we've heard from her is she's a killer. Already puts Gomez down. You know, I, I, was, I just took a notice of the face, her reaction when they announced her name. She could tell that she's so humbled. And it's almost like my life came, my dream came true. I am inside in the, the big league, La Howl of Combate Global. You can tell this young lady is very happy to be inside. Oh, good hit by right Gomez. Right by Gomez. The striking game on display, very aggressive start. Now, Reyes is an elite athlete. You will see that in her kicks, in the way she's able to move. Gomez, too, has much proved to prove to herself. She recently became a mother. She said, I want to prove to myself that I could overcome that. Being a mother has changed me as a person, but as a fighter. And that was the toughest challenge for her to come back after giving birth and now dedicating her life as a mixed martial artist. It was a challenge, but she accomplished that. Hence, today she is in La Jaula taking on Reyes, which has, she has great boxing stance, man. You can tell the hard work that she's been putting in. Great oh, stuff. good oh, combination. Clip, Reyes, who trains with the Blackskins, who are already 1-0, oh, Ernesto Ibarra victorious. Reyes's brother, Carlos Reyes, also on this card, will give you that result. We may be able to show you that fight if we have time later this evening. Several times an amateur MMA and kickboxing champ. Down there in Ensenada, originally from Tijuana, they talk about her. She is past oh. every threshold. Now at a, an attempt, perhaps, to an armbar. Gomez oh. wise to the world and gets out of there. Are you surprised with this start from Gomez? 
yes, she had great cans, man. Very fast pace, sharp. All the pub was on Reyes coming in, and rightfully so. Again, when you're dealing with Chilean fighters, you just don't know. There's just not enough tape, not enough of a sample size to give you the idea if they are ready for the bright lights. Yeah, but it's crazy to think that this is only their professional debut, but you, you could have sworn these ladies have been fighting for some time now. I mean, they, 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 these girls are game. Gomez, who has fought as a boxer, and you could see that with those quick hands, trying to set up the big power punch. Oh, into the ribs. Gomez does have the height and reach advantage. Reyes called Gomez to go to the floor, and Gomez didn't want none of that. This is it. This is, when it comes to weight classes, as low as uh, Combate goes at 105 in the atom weights. Well, let's see. Let's see what the game plan for Reyes is. Is it, let's get Gomez to get, oh. Let's get Gomez to, yeah. It, Reyes goes down. And then Reyes again calling Gomez to go to the floor. Reyes not going to do it. I mean, Gomez is not going to do it. Keep kicking those thighs. Yeah, got some, got okay. some good uh, oh, she got some licks in there, yeah. And Pol Raul right, Porata will break him up. It. That's probably the call. Yep. That was going nowhere. As Reyes now tries to takes the center of the howla on the receiving end of most of the power punches here from Gomez. Trying to slip that uppercut underneath. Gomez is the, the, the more confident, I would say, in this fight. I mean, she's swinging. She feels very... Confident in her striking and her skills. Great right oh, hand. Oh, there's a right hand, Reyes. Just to keep those hands up, though, she can't get sloppy. Reyes is just like that lion, you know, just watching, waiting for that opportunity. Well, we've seen enough from Gomez to say if that right punch connects, yeah. catches are coming in, it could be lights out. She definitely could be out like a light. As Drake says. <laughs> Reyes closing in, looking to catch some of that firepower. It seems she can take some starch out of Gomez. Everyone's swinging wildly there. Nothing connects. Now working the lead leg. Great kick from Reyes in that calf. Trying to go for a front kick. Reyes moved out. A couple feints there from Reyes. Yeah, Re Reyes is just patiently waiting for that gap to go inside and work. Gomez is just swinging away. Now the kicks. She needs to keep those hands up, though. When she throws that wild, she needs to be cautious. Close to finishing up round one. And those tree trunk legs by Reyes took some punishment, but she will be good, but needs a little change of game plan in round two as we end with a flourish. Oh, oh man. Good stuff for these women. Certainly some coaching here in the corner of Reyes, and she's got some great coaches. The Blacksicans well represented. Take some of the eyelashes yeah. out of it. Sometimes you lose some cartilage or a, maybe a, a piece of <laughs> a piece Something. of flesh. <laughs> Eyelashes do, but hey, it's all it, it all is fair. All right, here we go. The breakdown of that first round, opening up the round with that calf kick that brought Gomez to the floor. You would have thought that maybe Reyes would finish it very on, but not that's not the case. Gomez's boxing has just been very sharp, very skilled. She just has to keep those hands up when she throws in wild. We are ready for round two in our co-main event. Surprising first round to many. Janeli Reyes listed as the favorite here because of her background, because of her connections with such a successful gym. However, someone forgot to tell that to Melissa Gomez. You know, open up right before the opening of the round, they closed up on Reyes's face. And that left eye seemed a little bit swollen up. Now, I know we, we were talking about that eyelash, but it seemed a little red. Oh, there's a good right hand by Gomez over the top. So active. Yeah, kind of came in and Reyes was able to connect with the left cross. Oh, look Take at down. Gomez being flashy. Now, Gomez can't make a mistake. She kind of went into the lion's den there. 
Yeah, Ray, Ray's just gonna try to see if she changes levels close to the ground. Got okay, that knee way up and it got yeah. caught. All right, let's see. Let's see now what the ladies are up for here in the ground. Uh, nope. Gomez doesn't want any part nope. of the ground. Does not want any part of it. Gomez knows that she has been very effective in the stand-up game. That's where she wants to maintain it. That's a right call by Raul Porata, but I sure. think Gomez would say, let me get a few more licks in. That's what I did the <laughs> last time. And Gomez wins the first round. Official yeah. scoring. Right, but so. I think it was uh, Changing levels a bit. Fair decision by the judges, no doubt. Rodolfo Reyes is fighting a patient game. You can be patient for a while, but yeah. then you can't. Yeah, you, you have to you, you have to move forward. You have to attack. I know that she wanted to go to the ground, but let's face it, Gomez does not. So if she doesn't, you got to force her to go. Go for the takedowns. Let's see some of Oh, he got it right. Followed by a combination. Gomez, Gomez. Ben, Reyes, Reyes is in trouble. Reyes is right in hand. trouble. Look at her face. Yeah, she's, oh, she can't defend yeah, herself. Look, look at her reaction. Right Gomez now, bringing some heat. She got hit with a brick. South America standing up tonight. Zarauz, the Peruvian. And now Gomez, the Chilena. Yeah. Look, look at Ray, Ray's composure, her face. It's, it's not what it was. No, she just stopped moving, too. Like she just saw lightning. Gomez should go for it here, because Reyes yeah. is still reeling. Gomez very confident. She needs to keep keep consistent. Don't, just don't throw one shot. You gotta be one, two, three, follow up. If it's there for you, finish it. As far as Reyes, explore. Go just for a, bad, a takedown. It's a bad matchup for Reyes. She's gotta find something different. She wheels out of danger. Look, that lead leg is there. Shoot, right there. You can shoot. There you go. She, she attempted right there. But Gomez it's pulled not the there. Real fast. Gomez now hitting the lead leg. Oh, yeah, here comes. we go. Reyes unfurls. See, and, and you, you hear the corner of Reyes says, get close, because that leg, Gomez puts that leg for you. But those combinations, if nothing else, gave Reyes some confidence. Closing the gap, closing the gap. A little further, taking the center. Reyes should faint the, ha the hand and go for the takedown. This is why these women's divisions at 105, the atom weight, 115 straw, 125 flyweight, have people excited all over the planet. The numbers on our Spanish language telecast when the women fight on Univision soon in Televisa down in Mexico, through the roof. Kudos for Gomez, great footwork. Every time the Reyes attempts to come in, quickly moves away. Wow, missed by Gomez. You see the length that she possesses, yeah. and she's using every inch of it. Man, she's a little smile from Gomez. Fast pace. She can see Reyes coming in from a mile away. Yeah, she has Reyes in the crosshairs. Great reach. Using that to her advantage, she knows what she has. She knows her arsenal, and she used it to her, towards her advantage. Couple connect, the last one misses. That was the power punch. Getting red on that left quad of Reyes. Returns with the lead leg. Under a minute to go here. Gomez in a nice, comfortable zone, doing all the moving. Reyes is just stationary. She, she's not moving much, not attempting any takedowns, not throwing enough shots. She's just waiting, she's just waiting. But you gotta move. Reyes lost the first round. Looks like she's losing the second. She does have finishing power in her amateur days. Good kicks, this is good. Tranquilita is the message from Reyes. Take it easy, get in your groove, pick your spots. We got to 19 seconds max, second round. You know you already lost the first round. Over top, Gomez was close there, glancing blow. Go she's Gomez getting, is going for the knockout. She's getting into range, which is maybe not the best strategy if you're Gomez. Hey. We're heading to round three. <laughs> Woo! This is such a big spot for Melissa Gomez. Five minutes away from her, the biggest moment in her professional career. You could say that about Shareli Reyes, who was uh, given so much publicity heading into this. Wow, but Gomez is just very, look at those eyes, she's just vicious. She knows that she has this fight in her pocket. And what's very impressive, Max, is that she's going 
for the win. She's not waiting for the judges. Look at that. Boom! Right hand that shook Reyes. Woke her up saying, welcome to La Jaula. Another shot again. I mean, this Gomez is non-stop. Amazing work from Gomez. Pro debut for both these fighters. We are ready for round three. As we said, pro debut. Such a huge difference from 1-0 and 0-1. And and Melissa Gomez is in the driver's seat in black. At this point, Reyes just needs to go. Set up a uh, submission. Go, go for the ground. The, le the leg has been there for you. Yes, Gomez is very smart with her footwork. Every chance that she sees Reyes coming in, she quickly moves. So you got to use that feint. You got to fake her out, use that opportunity, and shoot. I think she's only attempted once, and quickly she moved. And that's pretty much it. That's all she did. A little bit more movement from Reyes, which is a step in the right direction. A little Palm more, a little more lateral movement. Not the problem is Gomez is moving more, not showing any fatigue. Yes, just so, and, and, and look, look at that. Look at his shoulder. Look at his shoulders of Gomez, which really plays a huge role. It, it confuses the fighter. That's what they always tell you. Look at the eyes. Don't look at the shoulders. They're going to tell you exactly where you're going to go. Just a lesson in movement, too, from Gomez. Not stopping for a moment. Every angle, every corner. Gomez is just dictating this fight. Look, she. She moves to the right, Reyes follows, then she'll flip it on her and go to the other side. Just confuse Reyes. Not much different in the body language or the fight right now from Reyes. Just gets caught there with that left hook. Gomez is very confident. It's just not gone to plan. It's not been a good matchup. Reyes is now just eating kicks. It's like Reyes is like a deer in the headlights. He's not that doing anything. Nope. She's taking a turn for the worse in this third round. Remember, just 20 years of age. Can you only imagine what's going through her mind? You know, coming into to La Jaula Combate about knowing that all these high balls are watching you on live TV, all of that plays a role. This, this is not amateurs anymore. This is the pro levels. You look at the open scoring. Second round also went for Gomez. It's been a high-level fight for two. Very. For women that are making their pro debuts, yeah. we get confirmed that Gomez won both rounds. You would never think that this, is, this would be their debut. Reyes, we know, can fight much better than this, but still, she's been game. She's taken and eaten punches and kicks and still there halfway through round three. Like right there, she had that chance to go for the legs and she moved away. Reyes, and you, you hear the corner of Reyes say, go down, go down. <laughs> gotta, gotta try and go for the takedown. Have to do it. Time running short. Reyes has to finish this fight. Gomez is just too quick with her footwork, though. It's very difficult for, for Reyes to achieve it. And she switches stance a lot. See, see, see how that, that great footwork? There's, a, there she, there's another attempt, but... Has to get a little bit lower. It's way too high. She ran to a barricade. Also telegraphed it, but it's still worth the attempt. Go again. Looking to bend those knees a little bit more where she can come in waist high. Good kick. Not enough. Gomez still moving around. Maneuvering out. Reyes, got a minute 40 to go. I'm sure uh, Gomez's teammate Gloria Bravo is watching this. She'll be on. Gotta be very proud. And, and yeah. Gomez was so clear in saying what uh, an impact Gloria Bravo has made. And these little fish hook uppercuts. She did a little uppercut to throw her off. Good kick. Reyes, can she build off of that? And look, the corner telling Reyes, your time is running short. Yeah. They Gomez said a minute with a minute 20. See Gomez, if that would get her going. Gomez is switching stance. It's just really confusing Reyes. She just can't find the gap. She got in close quarters. That, that hurt, Gomez. Well, you gotta follow through. It's not one, two. You gotta have more shots than that. If you wanna finish it, there we go. You have to and go for it. You gotta, you're gonna eat some to give some. That's just how it works in this fight game. There he goes. We got less than a minute, Jean Lee from the corner. Again, one last rush. She may have one more of those in her, and she has to finish the movement. But Gomez is just too quick. She's just too fast in that footwork. 
and she can see it, she smells it. And she uses that range very well, uses that jab to push Reyes away. Reyes just can't, can't find that opportunity. She got 17 seconds to go. Three weeks ago, it was Claudio Quintana. Ooh. Didn't, wasn't on the original card, and then Chilean came in to get a huge win over Choco Castillo. And now, it's going to happen again. Melissa Gomez from pillar to post. Congrats. With wow. a boxing clinic. We are back. And it's going to be a crowning moment for Melissa Gomez. And just to finish that story, well, we'll get to that in a moment. Let's get the official decision from La Voz, Lupe Contreras. Después de completar tres vueltas dentro de la jaula, los jueces Toledo y Green entregan tarjetas idénticas de 30 a 27. After completing three rounds inside of la jaula, judges Toledo and Green turn in identical scores of 30 to 27. Y el juez Lázaro anotó 29 a 28. Judge Lázaro scores it 29 28. In favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. A favor de la ganadora por decisión unánime. De Chile, Melissa Gomez. To finish that story, she was training. Her daughter put a finger in a fan. She was afraid she could lose a finger. She was worried she might lose her. She didn't. It hit her hard. But look at what she's done now. She is a winner.